Hey everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and today I'm gonna show you how to make a classic tiramisu. This is a simple make-ahead recipe and you're gonna love what we put in the cream, so let's get started. We'll start with the syrup. In a medium bowl, combine one and a half cups of strong coffee or espresso with three tablespoons of rum. Quickly dip half of your lady fingers into the coffee mixture. You can dip them one or two at a time, but make sure it's a quick dip. If you over soak them, the cake may collapse. Now to make the custard cream. In a medium bowl, whisk together six large egg yolks and three fourths cup of granulated sugar. Place that over a medium saucepan with some simmering hot water and keep that over low heat, whisking constantly for about eight to 10 minutes. Also make sure that bowl is just over the steam and not touching the hot water. When it's ready, you won't feel any granules of sugar and it'll be lighter in color and slightly thickened. Carefully lift that off the heat and set it aside to cool slightly. To make the mascarpone cream, beat together 16 ounces of mascarpone with three tablespoons of rum. You can use an electric hand mixer and I'll link to the one we love in the notes. Just beat that together until it's creamy and well combined. Then beat in all of your warm yolk mixture. Continue beating until it's creamy and well incorporated. Now in a separate large mixing bowl, beat two cups of cold, heavy whipping cream until medium peaks form, or for about three minutes. Make sure you don't overbeat the cream. You'll know it's done when you pull up on the whisk and the peaks on the cream lean slightly. You don't want stiff peaks for this. Now using a spatula, fold half of the whipped cream into the mascarpone cream just until it's incorporated. Then add the remaining whipped cream and fold until well combined. Again, do not overmix or it might become grainy. Now spread half of your cream mixture over that first layer of lady fingers. And be generous because you want a thick layer of cream in the center of this cake. Now dip the rest of your lady fingers about one or two at a time, dipping just once on each side, and arrange those evenly and in a single layer over the top of the cream. And if you're not able to find lady fingers in your grocery store, I'll leave a link in the notes to some you can buy online. Spread the remaining cream evenly over the lady fingers, making sure you get every last drop of that delicious cream. And it does help to spread with an offset spatula, and again, I'll link to this in the notes. You want to cover that tightly with plastic wrap and refrigerate for at least six hours or overnight, which makes this a make-ahead dessert. Oh, do you know what time it is? It is taste test time and I cannot wait to eat this. It's been chilling in the refrigerator, the cream is set, and it's ready to serve. And just before serving, I like to pummel it with some unsweetened cocoa powder. And you can use just a regular cocoa powder or Dutch process, whatever you like best. But the key is to be generous. Go all the way to the edges. Okay, and don't worry about getting it on the edges because when you're done, for a prettier presentation, you can take a pastry brush or just a paper towel and wipe off the sides. So pretty. And what's fun is for the holidays, if you have some kind of stencils, you could put those down first and then dust the cocoa powder. So you'll get little designs in the top. So cute and festive. Okay, all that's left is to slice and serve. All right, and because there's cocoa on top, if you wipe your knife clean between slices, you'll get much cleaner cuts. All right, here we go. I'm excited. <laughs> are you excited? I know you are. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Yum, you can see all those pretty layers with the lady fingers and mascarpone. Mm. Okay, here we go, going in for the taste test. Oh, and the fork cuts through it so easily. Mm. 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 <laughs> It is just layer after layer of flavor. I love that the lady fingers are soaked in coffee and some of that rum. You can really taste the rum through the cake. It's in the lady fingers, it's in the cream. And that cream, I'm telling you, it's like a custard mascarpone cream with the egg yolks. So flavorful. And best of all, there is no raw eggs in this cake. So winning. 
<laughs> if you want more holiday-worthy desserts, check out some of our favorites and reader favorites right over there and right down there. And if you guys want to be the first to know when we publish a recipe, click below to subscribe. And when you do, click that little bell icon so you'll get notifications every time we post a new recipe. We'll see you in our next video.